Interferons are a group of signaling molecules or cytokines. They are produced by the body's cells as a defensive response to viruses. Interferon was named for its ability to interfere with viral proliferation. Three types of interferon, alpha, beta, and gamma have been recognized. These interferons have been classified into two types. Type 1 includes the alpha and beta forms and type 2 consists of gamma form. Type 1 interferons can be produced by almost any cell upon stimulation by a virus. Their primary function is to induce viral resistance in cells. Type 2 interferon is secreted only by natural killer cells and T lymphocytes. Its main function is to signal the immune system to respond to infectious agents or cancerous growth. Now I am going to talk about the role of type 1 interferons against COVID-19. The information here is based on a research article published by French scientists. Interferon 1 are among the first cytokines produced during a viral infection. They are recognized by the IFNAR receptor present at the plasma membrane in most cell types. Upon binding of type 1 interferons, IFNAR receptor activates the JAK-STAT signaling pathway, thereby stimulating interferon-stimulated genes. These genes are involved in inflammation, signaling, and immunomodulation. They interfere with viral replication and is spread by several mechanisms such as slowdown of cell metabolism or secretion of cytokines which promote the activation of adaptive immunity. They also prevent viral entry or membrane fusion. Interferon 1 thus plays a major role in antiviral immunity. Interferon 1 treatment has been studied against MERS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus in numerous experiments, both in vitro and in vivo and in combination with several other drugs, but it failed to significantly improve the disease in humans. Probably because SARS coronavirus and MERS coronavirus are able to disrupt the interferon signaling pathway. How do they do this? For example, ORF6 proteins produced by SARS coronavirus inhibits the import of transcriptional factors such as STAT1 inside the nucleus, resulting in diminished interferon response. Similarly, another protein, ORF3B, reduces the expression of interferons. However, these proteins, ORF6 and ORF3B, in novel coronavirus are truncated and may have lost their anti-interferon functions. It could explain why SARS coronavirus 2 or the novel coronavirus displays in vitro sensitivity to interferon alpha. Although the novel coronavirus replication is not entirely suppressed, viral titers are decreased by several orders of magnitude. This shows that SARS coronavirus 2 is substantially more sensitive to interferon 1 than MERS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus. Also, for COVID-19, interferon beta should be the most relevant interferon subtype and that interferon 1 should be administered as soon as possible to optimize antiviral therapy and reduce adverse events. In Chinese guidelines for the treatment of COVID-19, 5 million units of interferon alpha are administered through vapor inhalation twice a day in combination with rivavirin. The administration by vapor inhalation may be to specifically target the respiratory tract where the novel coronavirus attacks the most.